Okay, so that's the roughing cut done, and you can see there's gentle contours rather than a you know sort of square blocky cut. Uh, this is the type of um, roughing that I would prefer. So now we've machined this away. Of course, there's none of the original material left. So to be able to set the new Z um, height now for this new tool, you just simply get a piece of material of the same dimensions, uh, you know, thickness that you had put anywhere on the surface of the, uh, the back in layer and simply zero off that. Okay, so now what we do, because we still have the old program in there, um, it doesn't really matter which way we go about doing this, but we can simply go to the, here, close G code, back into file, load G code, and double click on the finishing cut. It'll take a little while to load because it's a very, very large program and then also what we need to do is press zero the new Z height and then press regen which goes through the this is all G code this is all individual lines of G code and okay that's all perfect because the the X and the Y hasn't changed. We haven't uh, re-zeroed that. It's not necessary to. The only one we've uh, re-zeroed is the Z because we got a new tool in it. So it's actually showing the crosshairs on the diagram over here. But the machine, the 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 computer knows exactly where the start of that program is, and now the new length of that tool. So we'll just lift the tool off, a bit quicker maybe. Okay. Incidentally what I did then I just press shift and then press the uh, page up button on the keyboard and that goes to 100% uh, of speed to uh, raise it up quickly. So now let's take this back down. To, I like to start off at 20% and uh, we'll start this new finishing cut and uh, we'll see how it goes. Now I would like to say that this is a deliberate mistake, but in actual fact it isn't. Um, and look, this is going to happen to you. You're going to go through all the work of laminating pieces of wood together and a momentary lapse of reason and <laughs> this can happen and look, it will happen to you. I was too busy setting cameras up and uh, what have you to, to notice that uh, in fact I'd set the, um, the zero 20 millimeters out of sync uh, to what the, the material was. So uh, hey, that's one of those things and uh, you know it will happen to you. So I'm going to cut this now because I've actually set the zero correctly 
and uh, I've set it up in Mac 3 correctly. And we're, I'm going to cut this and finish it, but just you know, be aware that this sort of thing can happen to you. Uh, and it will. You know, it happens to us all. And, well, there's my deliberate mistake. <laughs> with a flourish, albeit with a bit of a scar through there, <laughs> uh, which goes to show, you know, if you take your eye off the ball for just a few seconds, especially when you're, you're setting things up, that can happen to you too. You know, it's happened to me before, we all make mistakes, and well, there's mine. Beautiful one, isn't it? <laughs> but this is um, just a demonstration of showing you that, uh, you know, you how to generally carve a 3D carving. And one day I'll make this one again. Because uh, I think it's, um, I think it deserves to be made again. <laughs> but um, I hope this video has been a help to you and entertaining and uh, I hope you pop back in and see some of my other videos on CNC routing, laser work, CNC milling and wood turning and some of the other stuff that I get up to in my workshop. So thank you for joining me and it's bye for now. <laughs>